Uh, so I'm glad the committee is hosting this hearing today as the rules of the House affects all members and their ability to best represent their constituents. House rules probably isn't the most interesting topic for people back home, but trust me, everything that we do here in the House, debate, offer bills, amendments, our committee activity, it is dictated by the House rules. And I think it's fair to say that many across this country feel that this place is broken. So we're starting here with rules. The most important part of this job is casting a vote on each bill on the House floor on behalf of our constituents, deciding whether or not it should become law or not. This responsibility should never be taken lightly as each bill has the potential to impact Americans all across this country. Every member should have the opportunity to know the content of each bill that is considered, its cost, and how it will impact their constituents. It's a very simple concept. That means every member of Congress should at minimum have the opportunity to read each measure prior to consideration. However, in current practice, we often find ourselves with mere hours to read the bills that are hundreds or even thousands of pages long. Lately, I have found that the longer the bill is, the less time that members have to read it. Providing members with sufficient time to read each bill is one method to ensure that every member of Congress on behalf of their constituents has made the best decision. In the 118th Congress, we should strengthen the rules of the House to give members of this body time to analyze and read each piece of legislation. This rule should be upheld for every bill with no exceptions or waivers unless two-thirds of the majority support. I strongly support this change to House rules and request its inclusion as part of the rules, House rules next Congress. And I'd also like to touch briefly on single issue bills. In the same vein, I believe another necessary change to House rules that would strengthen members' input in the legislative process is limiting bills to single issues. This change would bring much needed transparency to Congress for members and the public alike, and it would ultimately expedite the legislative process. Since I have been in Congress, the most expensive and consequential bills are massive and touch every single issue. In such bills, there are policies throughout that would have broad support of Republicans and Democrats alike, but each include writers that require members to tacitly decide if the good outweighs the bad. I can't tell you how many times I've had to go home and say it was all bad, but I had to decide which was worse. Legislating in such a way is frustrating to me, to our colleagues, and certainly to our constituents. Each policy should be considered on its own merits separately. The House Rules Committee should require that every bill be single issue, focusing on one subject at a time. In doing so, members can easily discern the policy being considered and cast their vote. And on a personal note, I would say that I probably wouldn't be here in Congress today had it not been for a program created through one of these massive bills that was rushed through on the House floor. In 2008, the, affordable, the Home Affordable Modification Program, as many of you know it, at HAMP, was included in a bill that was hundreds of pages long and modified numerous federal policies. This program was a disaster and ultimately cost millions of homeowners across the country their, their homes. However, this provision, like every provision we vote on in Congress, should have been considered on its own merits. And legislators should have had the opportunity to debate this program, but they didn't. The American people deserve representatives who have the opportunity to read, debate, and consider each policy on its merits. And had this been the case for the HAMP program, it is possible that my family, along with the six million other families across the country, we might not have lost our homes. Again, I believe that single issue bills will bring much needed transparency to the legislative process and restore the broken trust in this institution. I encourage the committee to include this change in the 118th rules of the House. Thank you again for the opportunity to speak on these recommendations today. And I would also like to associate myself with the comments that uh, Representative Massey is about to deliver. So thank you.